Hi YouTube, it is Camera Ms. Fantastic, and I am doing Rosemary's Tag Game. So I'm going to do this really, really fast because my battery is about to die. Um, number one, when was your surgery? It was October 13th, 2010. Number two, my favorite physical asset. Um, I like my legs and specifically my calves, but I don't mind my thighs either. Number three, the clothing size I started at. I started in a 26-28 or a 3X. Number four, my favorite food after and <laughs> my favorite food before and my favorite food after. Um, before it was definitely pizza. After is definitely ice cream. Um, strangely enough, I never ate ice cream prior to weight loss surgery. Never liked it, never wanted it. Literally would go a year without having ice cream. Since weight loss surgery, it is a struggle to go a day without ice cream. Um, number five, my biggest non-scale victory. Um, I no longer have sleep apnea and I no longer snore um, when I sleep, which is awesome. Number six, um, what video was my favorite that I made? Um, never paid any attention. I'm sorry. I just go week by week and I don't dwell on it once it's over. I just, it's kind of like I just spit out whatever's on my heart that week and then it's done. Um, so I don't think about what was my favorite. Um, number seven, my highest and lowest weight. My highest weight was 272 pounds. That was the day of my surgery. My lowest weight I have seen so far is 147.8. Um, that was like a month ago. I'm now currently back up to about 150. Um, so I'd like to get back down. Number eight, the last time I was a healthy weight, I believe I was 24 years old. Um, I weighed 120 pounds and it was the day I found out I was pregnant with my first child and I never saw a healthy weight again after that. Uh, my goal weight, I don't have a goal weight. I now have a goal size. I want to be a size 6. I do not know what I will weigh when I'm a size 6, but I'm thinking it'll be between 130 and 138. It'll be in there somewhere. Um, number 10, how do you feel relationships are before and after weight loss surgery? Um, relationships are great. They were great before and they they continue to be great. I have a really strong um, network of friends and very close family and they're very supportive of me and I haven't really noticed a huge change. The only thing I have noticed with my friends is since I have lost weight, every single one of my friends seems to be obsessed about losing weight themselves. It's like they're so afraid to let me get smaller than them. <laughs> And that's the funny thing, too, is I, I am smaller than most of my friends now, whereas um, before, I was by far the largest. So that's interesting, and it may have upset some sort of a balance in our friendships. I don't know. Um, I still feel very close to them, and they seem to feel close to me, so I don't think it's a problem. Um, number 11, my favorite exercise. Walking is my favorite, but I also do love strength training and working out with weights. Um, do I ever regret my decision? Absolutely not. Not for one minute. Um, the only thing I might change is I might possibly, I have the Realize band and I might possibly trade that in for the Allergan band, um, knowing what I know now about the Realize band, but I can't even say for sure that I would do that. Um, number 13, what kind of surgery did I get? Um, I got the Realize lap band. Um, number 14, am I a dumper? No, I'm not. Number 15, do I feel that food was an addiction for me? I've really struggled with this question. I really don't think it was an addiction um, because I see an addiction as something that you have to do every day, whereas um, I can eat healthy and right on track for two or three weeks at a time, and then I will have some sort of an emotional um, binge eating episode. And it's so I see it more as a compulsive behavior um, that I developed over the years as a coping skill for dealing with um, emotions I'm not comfortable with. That's the way I see it. Um, could be wrong. Number 16, has anyone not recognized me? Yes, that has happened. Um, professionally, when I, I see people that I haven't seen for six months, nine months, people will, I'll know them and they'll be staring at me like they don't know who I am. So yes, I have not been recognized. Um, number 17, am I a happier person? Definitely, much happier person. Um, number 18, people I have to watch every week. There's two girls that have, I've been on this journey with from day one. We all three had our surgeries the same uh, time and that would be Jen Lee 526 and Exit Melanie and myself. Um, 
we have done our entire journey together and we will be together at the end as we cross the finish line. Even if we do it at different times, um, we're going to be waiting for each other and helping each other across that line. So those are my two girls. I will never miss their videos. Um, number 19, any anniversary twins within a week? I don't know what that means. I think it might mean people that you had your surgery with around the same time, and that would be X and Melanie and Gently 526. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's what you meant, Rosemary, about anniversary twins. Um, 20, non-scale goals for myself. Um... Right now, what me and my friends are working on is we would like to be backpackers and go hiking in the mountains. Um, we're even trying for an overnight camping trip, hiking trip. So that's my non-scale goal for now. Um, and number 21, am I addicted to the scale? No, definitely not. Um, I only weigh once a week. Usually it's every Monday. And frankly, sometimes I even forget. So I'm not addicted to the scale. All right, that's it. That's the end of the tag. Talk to you guys later. Bye.